Uh, yes, so although I'm a registered immigration consultant, I can provide legal advice on immigration matters in Canada. Uh, our firm is primarily run by lawyers. So our founder, Carrie Carpenter, uh, an immigration lawyer, she's been practicing in this field for 19 years. Uh, our other staff lawyer, Janet, as well, been practicing in this area for 19 years. Uh, she's an immigration, uh, what we call a specialist. Uh, she receives or provides advice to other lawyers on immigration matters as well. Okay. Uh, so on this, uh, this program though, the area where this uh, pertains to is a very specific area of Canada where they have a unique problem. Their economy is growing faster than their population. Uh, they're called the Atlantic uh, Provinces, four provinces, which is why this program is called the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Okay. Um, so under this program, uh, the federal government has basically said to address the econo economic needs, uh, we're going to create a special program, three years uh, pilot, and it's about half, one and a half years into the program. Okay. So start some of the slides here. We would translate all of those jobs and responsibilities into the different NOC codes, and there'll be many under you. Okay. okay. Uh, when it comes time to start looking at the occupation codes in Canada, we're going to try and translate every single one. So we're not just going to try and find one that, that matches up for you. We're going to take all of them that are applicable. All right. Anytime we find a job that is relevant to yours, we would first contact you and say, this is what we found. So whether it's an upper management position or as you said, it's one of the other types of responsibilities you've had, we would go to you first and say, are, are you interested in this position? Okay. Because maybe it's in a, a province that you don't want to go to or something like this. Okay. The other aspect is we'll look at that, uh, that employer's uh, job offer if it's already published. We'll start looking through the details. So if there's anything in there that you might have which isn't already in your CV, We'll go to you and see if you have the experience so that we can make your CV stronger in advance before we present you to them as a, a potential employee. Okay. Okay. And then once we have that, uh, it's up to them to determine whether they want to have that 111 contact to make the job offer. Okay. But basically, we try and create a stronger argument for you in, in as many potential positions as possible. Looking for a similar type of occupation in Canada, they're going to look at all of your experience. Uh, now, that's a, a pretty broad scope because you've covered a lot of area in your practice. So we would, again, be looking at trying to translate all of your skills into the different NOC codes. Uh, it would allow a search for uh, more than one type of position.